I think it's a very, very exciting time in the pharmaceutical industry because the breakthroughs that are happening from a research and development perspective are probably better than they've been at any other time in the, in the history of the industry. And the new products that are coming to market that alter the course of disease and save people's lives that previously could not live because of the disease are really just the most exciting things that could be going on. And I think the challenge that companies face and that the industries face is trying to be able to value that properly in the context of not just pricing, but overall economic value, quality of life, health value to people. In the case of hepatitis C, if you take the course of a patient over their lifetime with hepatitis C, the cost of the healthcare system is millions of dollars. And so treatment with a drug for tens of thousands of dollars that cures the disease in 90 days is a tremendous advance, which is a great example of a different way to look at pricing, which is in the context of overall healthcare costs versus how much does something cost every day to take. I think it's incumbent upon the industry to come up with new ways to demonstrate the overall value of new products that come to market. Not just the cost, but the impact that it has on overall quality of life and on the overall healthcare system. Extending life can increase overall cost because if you live for 20 more years because the medicine's available to you, by definition, you're gonna cost the healthcare system more. But the contribution that people can make you know, by being around longer is a significant contribution to society, and there's some benefit to that. But I think pharmaceutical companies have to work hard to come up with new and different ways to demonstrate where that value is in the system for the patient, for the payer, for the provider, you know, across the whole value chain.